Hello. So we've been talking about human maturity over the last several videos, a series of videos on human maturity. And the advice that I've given is for both men and women, even though this series entire is for men, I'm speaking to men. I love men. I love my brothers, my sons, my, I have a grandson. I have great male friends. And my hope is to bless you as, you know, with my observations about how to be a healthy man and how to, you know, find and, and keep and serve that one woman for the rest of your life. If that's what you want out of life is to have that kind of relationship, be in union with a woman. I had to start with maturity. I, some of my titles have been, you know, maturity is incredibly attractive to a woman. And this is true. Um, but it's kind of a little bit more than that. Um, all of us on the quest of being ourselves need to start at maturity. <laughs> and my, my, I guess my tip on this is that quite often men and women, but men who are, you know, trying to search for that woman or attract that one woman or have a healthy relationship with that one woman, sometimes we get stuck on thinking it's about the differences between men and women or what is a man supposed to do or what is a woman supposed to do or how do I get her to pay attention to me or all this kind of thing. And we based it on our manhood per se. When really my, what I'm saying to you is that many of us, men and women, but many men just have not even grown up, period. They just don't even want to do, or they don't think they need to, or they know it never, they were never inspired by the idea that they need to have some mature skills of just being a human being. So start there, definitely start there. And that's what we've been doing for the past several videos is um, going through some markers of maturity. And um, obviously I can't tell you everything. These are YouTube videos. It's very brief. It really, I've just introduced ideas. If you are examining yourself and feeling like you have some places you can improve, then you obviously have to do some research on your own. So my final conclusion is just continue to be on that quest of being the best human being that you can be. I want to suggest that you read poetry and that you read biographies, or you can find these to listen to as well, podcasts or, you know, really uplifting material on YouTube. Um, and poetry is not just a literary form. It's not just, you know, uh, roses are red, violets are blue. There is some deep stuff about life. Poetry just takes life by the tiger's tail or whatever. It just sinks right into that with just a few words and you can transform your thinking and your feeling and your point of view just by reading a few lines of poetry. Rilke, uh, Walt Whitman, um, Pablo Neruda, um, oh my gosh, Maya Angelou, Mary Oliver, some great, great, great poetry out there. And poetry is about life. It's not just about, you know, pretty words and biographies as well. Martin Luther King Jr., if you've never read his biography, Martin Luther, uh, Nelson Mandela, um, Gandhi, um, and Francis of Assisi. Um, just find out how people made choices and lived their lives and maybe be inspired and adopt those things. Okay, so I do want to review, and I'm going to kind of have my notes here, and actually I'll probably even do a graphic, cue graphic. <laughs> But these are the, the markers of maturity that we've discussed over the last several videos in review. If you would like to be a mature human being and also secondarily um, attract and keep and serve a woman and be attractive to her on the basis of your mature, maturity, these are the markers that you want to cultivate. One, see the good, want to be alive. Two, 
language and emotional responsibility. Three, value yourself and value your body. Four, understand yourself and what you want out of life. Five, communication and conflict resolution skills. Six, social skills. Seven, emotional independence. Eight, compassion. And nine, integrity and boundaries. That's where you begin. And we don't necessarily, I also address the fact that we don't necessarily have a society that's this all, this is all laid out for you. We don't have a normal anymore. I think that's a good thing, but that, but it does mean that we have to figure out our own way and do our own research and make our own decisions about who we want to be. Okay, so we are done with the Human Maturity Series, but we are not done with talking about how, uh, as a man, that you can attract, keep, and serve a woman in a healthy relationship. And so I will, this series is going to go indefinitely. I don't have an ending in mind necessarily. We're just going to keep talking about various issues as we go along. So I will see you in the next video. YouTube.